it it seems like basically it can control within four to five degrees if we're talking about 22 degrees outside up to about 104. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, most of the time, except for uh, Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some places, I some people might want to know what what do you do when it starts getting really really hot in Arizona? What do you do for, right for some of those folks? Yeah, no, uh, this is such a smaller volume that it's a lot easier load to to maintain and keep up with. Uh, so, uh, and it is in a shaded uh, area in, in the vehicle itself, so. Uh, the biggest thing uh, we tell folks on the trailer side of the business is that, you know, just use common sense. If you know it's going to be a hundred and something degrees out in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, and you, and you know, you've got to use a, a vehicle, you know, turn your AC on, get it uh, as, as cool in the area that, uh, you know, the box is going to be. It's easier on uh, all the componentry. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we tell folks as far as the trailers go, you know, keep it in the shade and, and start it up earlier in the morning if you know you're going to be using it later on in the day. So, you know, the same would be true here. If, if you've got a staging area that you could put the box and actually have it on and running, in most cases, people are going to be doing that anyways, because a lot of these things, people are going to preload the box and then either slide it in or they'll have the vehicle back at their office and, and uh, they'll have it on and running anyway. So, uh, just some of the common sense, uh, things like that will make a, make a huge difference on the triple digit days out there that, that, uh, you know, we, we see in some of the markets. 